Who's ready for some smoked buffalo chicken dip? I know I am. Let me show you how I do it. All right, as you can see, we've got our Royal Oak charcoal briquettes all lined up in our charcoal chimney here. We've got two Royal Oak tumbleweeds here. I'm gonna get those lit up. I've got my air vents open on my grill here so I can get maximum airflow underneath the fire. And when these coals get good and lit, I'll dump them out, get them set up for a two zone fire, and get ready to start cooking some chicken for this buffalo chicken dip. All right, while Weber is coming up to temp, the first thing I wanna do is take these three chicken breasts. This is almost a pound and three quarters, these pack of three chicken breasts I bought. I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil here Sprinkle on top, kind of get that rubbed in. And I'm gonna season this with a little bit of chicken rub and a little bit of garlic butter. I'm gonna get it over here once my Weber gets fired up all the way. You can see the smoke gently coming across. Kind of brisk and cool out here this morning. Get a little bit of chicken rub down. Now while I got them on that back side, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that garlic butter. Now you season your chicken breast however you like completely up to you. Whatever rub you want to put on it is fine. I'm just trying to get a little more flavor. If you want to cheat, go to the store, get a rotisserie chicken to do your uh, buffalo chicken dip with, you can do that too. It's not a big deal. I'm just wanting a little more flavor in my chicken. So of course I'm going to smoke my own. All right, now that that's patted in, I'm going to kind of let it set. Just get room temperature, it's been in the fridge while my grill comes up to temp, we'll get all the rest of my ingredients ready. All right, we've got our chicken season, like I said. Now I'm gonna take our block of cream cheese here and I'm gonna coat this thing in some competition rub because we're gonna smoke this cream cheese. I wanna get maximum flavor in this buffalo dip. Now, and once I get all that cream cheese laid down there, I'm gonna take it over here on some foil and take that glove off. Now I'm gonna take my knife here and kind of put some score marks in it. It should open up just a little bit. Now, we've got our cream cheese ready to smoke. We've got our chicken ready to smoke. And as you can see, the Weber's smoking. So when it gets up to temp, we're gonna be ready to throw this on. All right, it's been 20 minutes. As you can see, our coals are good and burned down here, kind of white and ashed over. I'm gonna get them spread out. I'm gonna get my grate back on where I can get it scraped off clean. We'll be ready to. All right, let's get this thing set to about 300 degrees, 275, 300, something there, maybe even three and a quarter, wherever it settles in at, and then we're gonna be ready to start smoking. All right, our Weber is hitting 325 degrees. I'm gonna take a little bit of foil here. My grates are a little dirty. I've been wearing this little Weber out lately. So, make it easy. Just kind of scrape that baby off. Now, let's get some chicken and cream cheese and get ready to put it on. All right, we've got our chicken breast over here. I've got one little old piece of wood that I normally use in my pizza cooker here. I'm gonna slap that wood in here just ever so gently. Rake it back. Now, I'm gonna come back and put these chicken breasts on right back here, kind of away from the fire. I'm gonna take my cream cheese and slide it on right back here, kind of out of the way. Now, let's get this chicken smoking. And this cream cheese, we'll come back about an hour or so and see how it is. All right, we're hitting a, about 165 to 170 degrees in all the chicken breast. I've just kind of got some foil here. I'm gonna take and lay these chicken breasts over in this foil and I'm gonna wrap them up and kind of let them steam. And then I'm gonna shred these things. So let's get them over the table. We'll get ready. I'm gonna leave that cream cheese on there a few more minutes. Let these kind of cool down and I'm gonna shred them. We'll get that cream cheese and make this buffalo chicken dip. All right, I'm pretty sure our cream cheese is done. Look at that. 
That right there, that cream cheese is smoked to perfection. Let me get me a little bite of it. I know this is gonna make this buffalo chicken dip that much better. Let's get over here and mix it up. All right, to keep this simple, we've already shredded our chicken breast. We've got a tad over two cups. So I've got a little over a half a cup of hot sauce here. This is wing sauce, actually. And this right here is by my good buddy, Bobby T. And so Bob has Mighty Mitch's wing sauce. We actually sell it on our website. This is a great wing sauce. If you hadn't had it, you gotta give it a try. Now, I didn't have any bottle ranch at home, so this morning, I asked my wife to make up a little homemade ranch, put it in a canister here, and that's what she did. So I've got a little over a half a cup of ranch dressing. Now this recipe calls for a half cup, but you know, I always go a little bit over on everything. Get that kind of stirred in and incorporated. Now, once you kind of get that mixed up, let's go ahead and get this cream cheese in here. Oh, look at it just fall right off of there. Oh, now you know how you have such a hard time mixing cream cheese in usually? Look at that right there, how it just so gently just melts right away. Now, while I'm stirring this up, I've got about a cup of cheddar cheese here. So I'm gonna do maybe about half of that. I'm gonna fold in here and I'm gonna save the rest of it to kind of sprinkle on top. Y'all know we gotta amp them flavors up just a little bit more. And it's hard not to use some of this garlic butter rub. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Get a little more flavor in there. Now you know you can always adjust the spiciness of this. You can customize it and add jalapenos to it for a little more of a kick. You can add more hot sauce, of course a hotter hot sauce, more rub, anything. I'm gonna take me a little bite of this, see how it is, see if I'm gonna adjust anything. I'm not doing anything but eating this. Man, that is so good. We've got a little cast iron skillet here. Get it dumped in, get it spread around. Yeah. Get a little bit of cheddar cheese. Now, once we've got this all mixed and incorporated, let's get it back on our Weber for about 30 to 45 minutes, let it get good and bubbly and hot. And this is gonna be ready to eat, <laughs> and I can't wait. I'm still running about 325 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead now and open my, my top vent up a little. Adjust my bottom one a little bit. Come on up to about 350, let it settle in. Like I said, I'm gonna set a timer about 30 minutes and check it, let it be. All right, it's been 45 minutes. <clears throat> Our Weber has dropped down to about 325 degrees, so which is perfect. I let it stay on about 45 minutes. Look at that dip, just a bubbling. Now I know that's gonna be some great buffalo chicken dip right there. All right, our smoked buffalo chicken dip is off the grill. So just to recap, I took three chicken breasts, seasoned them with some garlic butter and some competition rub, and threw them on my Weber grill on a two-zone fire to let them smoke. They were running about 275 to 300 degrees. Then I took a block of cream cheese, smoked it with the same exact thing because I wanted to impart those flavors in this buffalo chicken dip. I then took some of my good buddy Bob's having a barbecue wing sauce, Mighty Mitch's wing sauce, which is his son, come up with this, and this is a great wing sauce. So I used a half a cup of it to a half a cup of homemade ranch, mixed it with that smoked cream cheese, turned around with those shredded chicken breast, got everything nice and incorporated with a little more dry rub in it. This smells incredible. Mix that freshly grated cheddar cheese in there with it, and there's only one thing left to do, and that's go in here and get a bite. No, it's gonna be hot. Man. I'm picking up so much more smoke and so much more flavor out of this than a traditional buffalo chicken dip. You guys gotta give this a try. 
If you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.